Hello, it's Helen Gordon here, and I'd like to take you on a guided tour of the Canberra Quilt Show from 2019. So this is my local show, and why not start with a look at one of my quilts? This is You Can Toucan, which I painted with my favourite dyes on the cotton, and really had fun with this one. Lots of negative space for my quilting, all the jungle leaves, and oh, you can see the dribbles there of paint. Oh, there's my dragonfly. I had so much fun doing this. I've used the ink tense blocks for the black to really give it definition. And you can really see that I painted it very quickly. I wanted it to look like I really have splashed the paint on and gave it a, a look of speed when I was painting it, which is actually how it happened. So this was a lot of fun. Totally. In oh, there's mum. Hi, mum. That's my mum. This is her quilt. It's called New Home, New Beginnings, and she made it for a very special niece who's recently moved to Canberra. Oh, she got a ribbon. Now, she's used the Accia quilt to cut those strips perfectly accurately, and that's why it has come together so well. She actually used a set of fabrics that were furnishing, so they all have a similar sheen to them. There she is admiring her work. It really is quite stunning, and that's mum. She's 88. What a champion. Look, she won Retaining the Traditional Award at Canberra Quilters. Now this year at Canberra, there was so much colour. Uh, Beth Miller's Bird Talk was a lot of fun. Lynn Keogh, always beautiful. Beth and Trevor Reed. So much eye candy, so much colour. Oh, there's another one of my quilts. Mum's proudly showing that one. Seasons of Japan. Uh, this was for um, vintage kimono strips. Yes, I won a prize. Look, Domestic Machine Quilting Award. Yay, check out the quilting. Of course, done on my Sweet 16. So four panels put together that represented four seasons. The detailing in the kimono fabric is just stunning. Uh, it was a lot of fun to do. I really pushed hard to make my quilting as neat because the Japanese culture is all about being neat and, you know, I hate that word, but perfect, you know. So I really tried hard with this one. But that is all done freehand on the Sweet 16 with um, Superior Threads Magnifico, uh, just in five different colours. There you go, that's the spring panel. You can see all the beautiful colours in that one. Little flowers and things. This one was the autumn panel. Uh, it had the maple leaves in it. Oh, it was a lot of fun. It's a beautiful piece. I'm very happy with it. Lots of gold too. The kimonos always have uh, the gold print on them. There we go. Licorice all sorts. Homegrown. So much um, colour. Oh, now this one's by Rosemary Butt. And she's an ex-student of mine. And she has painted with the beautiful Lumiere paints and created this little picture with the gang gang which is our local canberra bird now she's really done a lot of quilting in there with a lot of details oh i like those seed pods aren't they fun well done rosemary there's mum what is she looking at now what a beautiful display ah oh, now this is wilma cawley's a cup of tea this is so much fun bright colors and fun quirky little elements which is so typical of wilma she's added buttons and hand stitching um pretty sure there's some rickrack on there the shapes are really organic and it's just a lot of fun it really makes you smile another colorful piece wendy pang's spring flowers all those k facet fabrics don't you just love them look at that they're just so delicious so many colors so many textures that's really fun now this is by Jane Smith, another ex-student of mine, and she's really taken on board the graffiti quilting style of Carly Porter, um, American quilter, and you can see all those different patternings, very typical of Carly's work. Jan has done an exceptional job here. She's on her Sweet 16, of course. Jenny White's flowers, now this is again some handwork. Lots of detailing with those French knots and long stitches. It's quite a small piece but it won in the Tiny Treasures, and it really is gorgeous. Now, this is Best of Show by Lin Kyo. Uh, that Japanese word means beautiful memories. This is extraordinary. The handwork in this, believe me, it's handwork, and then the quilting was done on her Sweet 16. It is absolutely stunning, 
but the details in the handwork and her ability to use such a variety of taupe fabric is quite extraordinary. Look at this here. And those blossoms, it's quite extraordinary. These people, I say, will be my guests for Best of Australia this year. Um, or sorry, for next year, 2020, because it really is quite an amazing, beautiful piece. Well done, Lynn. Totally deserved win. Look at it. And then we have a look at what won Best of Australia last year was uh, Julie Adamson's piece called The Apprentice. So this won last year's Best of Australia. So she was from Victoria. Now this is hand-turned, hand-quilted on satin and silk with these extraordinary fine details in that applique. It's quite extraordinary. What a lovely piece for Best of Australia 2018. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Canberra Quilt Show for 2019. Subscribe to Helen Godden Quilts for more quilting content coming your way very soon. Education and inspiration, helengodden.com.